you you kind of coming in at a, a, a for lack of a better it, it, it's a weird time in the sense that Revolt just lost Andre Harrell. Yeah. Number one, did you know Andre? And if so, what do you think he means to the culture yeah. that you're inheriting? And if you did know him, what did he mean to you? Yeah. Um, so one of the worst parts about him passing is I did not get a chance to know Andre, right? So I'm one week away from Andre being a boss of mine, right? He's the vice chairman of Revolt. Um, and unfortunately, I miss out on that opportunity to get to know him. But what I've always been very clear on is what Andre has meant to the culture, period, point blank. Um, and then what I've gotten to learn over the last two weeks is what Andre meant to this revolt team. And so as I'm stepping into this role, without question in the back of my mind, somebody said it um, this way, that revolt is the last arc in Andre Harrell's legacy. And I'm stepping into this role absolutely feeling like there's a chip on my shoulder um, to help prove that his last venture is just as successful and just as meaningful to the culture as all of the other stuff that he has in his past. Uh, in his past. Got you. Now, Andre was a gem to the world. Um, yeah, he sounds he really, like it. Yeah, he really was a gem to the world and um, he, he will be dearly missed. I'm um, sure. Speaking of Andre, his protege, Sean Diddy Combs, the whole world knows Sean. Yeah. What was that interview process like for you? Yeah. Um, it, interesting and amazing, right? Um, so I've had interactions with Diddy in the past, business interactions that he probably won't even remember, right? Um, so I'm meeting him for the first time um, where, you know, we're talking about partnership. Um, what I will say is specifically in that first interview, he was so human. Right. So you see Diddy, the billionaire, Diddy, the icon, Diddy, who's done all of this for the culture. But um, what I saw in my first interview that really opened up my eyes and this opportunity for me at Revolt was a man who was human, who was willing to talk from a very human perspective. As I tell him, like, look, man, I'm going to uh, manage any business I run with this, with the integrity that comes from my spiritual relationship. He comes back to me and says, well, I'm going to come at you for this you know, man of God thing, like to your point, he was like, I carry my Bible everywhere I go, right? And so the most amazing piece, at least in our first interview for me, was just getting to see how human he was, getting to see how real he was. And as, even though Diddy is as high up, he felt super accessible. Um, and so that opened up a huge door for me to say this revolt thing could be really real for me. What's your vision for revolt? Yeah, uh, super simple, man. Uh, revolt is... By definition, it means the, the, the rise of a rebellion, right? The brand says rebellion in the name. And so I think you got to lean into it. I'm so um, impressed with how well the brand has been positioned by Diddy, Tariq, and Roma. You got a brand that stands for rebellion. You're targeting Gen Y and Gen Z, which are the most rebellious life stages of, 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 of our life, right, of, of adulthood. Um, you've got hip hop, which has always been revolutionary, rebellious, music right and so for me the brand can't do anything but launch a rebellion <laughs> right the brand can't do anything but be disruptive the brand can't do anything but get all of these rebels who are culture shapers culture makers um to rise up and do great work um and then one of the places i think we have to lean into is not just the work of moving culture from a fashion and a music perspective but also from a social justice perspective you can see that diddy is really big on this social yep. justice moment um, black people absolutely need someone to step in and say hey this is the platform for this conversation and who better to lead it than the hip-hop community um, so what you'll see is us leaning really heavily into this like rebellion space um, with a real heavy you know lean on social justice because now's the time we're not playing no more games no nah, I, I couldn't agree with you more I could not agree with you more if anybody wanted to get in touch with you Detavio where can they find you the easiest man to find, as long as you know how to spell my name, Detavio, D-E-T-A-V-I-O, you can find me everywhere. It's Detavio on Twitter, on LinkedIn, on Gmail, on Instagram, on Facebook. Uh, all you have to do is Detavio and, and you'll find me. Detavio, thank you so much for being part of this Power Move Maker series. You have dropped so much wisdom and you were so open 
um, about your your success and the path that it took to get there. So, I, you know, on behalf of all of this, the listeners, yeah. I thank you so much. Continue success and blessings, brother. Thank, thank you, brother. I just want to say thank you for giving me the opportunity. Um, thank you for finding me and, and, and just opening this door, brother. I love what you're doing. Appreciate that I got to be a part of the journey. And if you ever need anything else or I can be helpful, let me know. No, I'm sure just you being part of that system, uh, you know, we're going to be in touch quite often. So. That sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.